In this lesson, we're learning about exponential functions. Exponential functions are functions where x is in the power of one side of the function. So as x increases, the variable or the, uh, the constant on that side of the function goes up by that power. So instead of going up a little or going down a little, depending on what this number is, it can go up or down a lot because you're talking about In this lesson, we're learning about exponential functions. Exponential functions are ones where the x term, the input term, is in the power of one side of the function. So it can make big, big differences as x goes up or down, as we'll see here in a minute as we start plugging in values. So what we're going to do is take the, con the terms I have over here on the left, we're at negative 3 and go up by 1s up to 3. We're going to plug those in for x in each of these two versions of exponential functions. The difference between the two of them is this constant term right here. The term, the function on the right, y equals 3 times 2 to the x, is just exactly the same as the one on the left, except it's been multiplied by a factor of 3. So let's take a look at the different values as they go in. If x is negative 3, then y equals 2 to the power of negative 3, which would be 1 over 2 to the power of 3, or 1 over 8, 1 eighth. And then in this function, we just take 3 times that value, or 3 eighths. For x is negative 2, we get 2 to the power of negative 2, or 1 fourth. And then 3 fourths. We get 2 to the negative 1, 1 half, 3 halves, or 1 and 1 half if you prefer. 2 to the 0, anything to the 0 is 1. so this one becomes 3, 2 to the first is 2, and 6, 2 squared is 4, 12, and 2 cubed is 8, 24. So you can see that this column is going up quite a bit faster than this column. Although as we get into really huge numbers, it wouldn't matter nearly so much. Let's take a look at the graphs here. You can see in our, our graphs of these two that the green line, which represents this function over here on the right, goes up quite a bit faster because it's actually every term in it has been multiplied by 3 over the same corresponding term in the other function which is represented by the yellow line.